Hey guys, it is that time of the year when drugstores start coming out with a whole ton of new stuff at once. So, um, I got a few of the new CoverGirl products. The only thing I didn't get to try was the, um, they have, I forget what the exact name is of them though, but they're like cream eyeshadows in a tube that are like shimmery. I didn't even bother because I know I'm not going to use that, so I didn't get one of those to try out. But as for their other new stuff, this is just going to kind of be like a showing you them and my full reviews will be on the blog as usual. You're probably getting sick of hearing me say that, but I will always have the stuff linked below once I review it on the blog. But I got one of the new True Blend Thick Stick Concealers. This is pretty much like the uh, L'Oreal one. What are the L'Oreal ones called? Uh, the True Match concealers that they came out with a little while ago. This is pretty much the same exact color. Um, I was just kind of trying it out and it's very creamy. It's not, um, it's very light coverage. You're probably not even going to be able to see it. So I guess that's good because it matches my skin tone well. I got the second shade, so it was, it's light 5 to 7. Um, I'm thinking I should have got the lightest shade because I like to use these stick things, the stick concealers, to highlight like under my eyes. So if this works out well, I'll get the lighter shade. But uh, very nice and creamy. Like I said, it's not full coverage at all. It's like very light coverage, but... I'll play around with it some more and see, but that's their new stick concealers. And then, um, I don't know what possessed me to get this. <laughs> this is their new True Magic Skin Perfector. They have the Perfector, uh, the Highlighter, or Luminizer I think it's called, and then like a, a bronzing type one. Um, but this is just a clear, like mattifying balm pretty much. It's a, like a, just a solid whatchamacallit, and the packaging kind of sucks because it's this and then it it gives you one of these little sponges, but there's no place to put the sponge unless you just want to lay it in the product, which I really don't like to do because that's kind of a sanitation thing for me. Um, so I kind of just played around with it a little bit. As you can see, it's not perfect because I already dipped into it, but it definitely gives you, uh, it matt mattens. It mattifies where you put it, so I'm gonna have to try this out for a full day and see how it works. It's just like, it's not marketed as a primer, I don't think, but you put it on like you would with a primer, so just for mattifying, so I figure I have oily skin, I'm a good candidate to test it out and let you guys know how it works. And then the last thing I got, now I didn't buy these in a drugstore, I ordered them from soap.com because all the CoverGirl stuff was 30% off at the time. And I ordered their new mascara which is called Bombshell Volume by, it's from the Lash Blast family. And this is the biggest frigging tube of mascara I have ever seen. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. It has two ends, obviously one and two. Um, this is like, I almost want to say I'm going to hardly reach for this because it's so giant I'm not going to want to mess around with it. But, uh, for instance, this is the Maybelline Volume Express 1x1, which is a pretty chunky tube to begin with, but look at the size comparison. It's like, it's ridiculous. It's thicker, it's longer. Uh, let me just show you. I guess th this is the first step, step one. It's got, uh, kind of just looks like the regular la Lash Blast wand. So you put that on first, and that's kind of, it's a very short wand, so it looks like it's going to be difficult to work with. And then, end number two. And this is in very black. I usually get all my mascaras in very black. This is like a, uh, it's two different wands basically. This is a regular mascara wand and then the other one has the little short spiky plastic bristles. So we'll see how this 
works out. I already have mascara on right now, um, but I will insert pictures of like before and after uh, using this on my lashes. So I just wanted to show you guys the new stuff that came out and if you want to, I know they're available at Ulta now and like I said soap.com they were 30% off. That website seems to have a lot of um, good sales and I just recently discovered it so I bookmarked it so I can keep checking. But uh, that's the new stuff. I will have reviews done soon and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in my next video.